How's it going guys? Tech here and Mac OS Sequoia Beta 2 is out now and in this video I'm going to show you all the major changes and features exclusive to Mac cause many features are also there on iOS and iPad OS 18. Then we are gonna talk about bugs and should you upgrade. Well there are some features which are currently not available like the Apple intelligence and drag and drop using continuity. I have already posted an in-depth video on continuity so I sent you guys watch that video after this one and also watch the iOS 18 video because like I said there are so many similar features across these three new operating systems. So starting with productivity features. So this is not exactly new but more of a convenient to have feature. So basically this is a new way to resize windows, rearrange them side by side to be able to view more at the same time. So when you go to this green button and hover for a few seconds it will show you options how you want to resize and rearrange the windows. So you can directly click onto it and it's done. You can also do this by dragging the windows to any edge of your screen. With presenting, now you can actually preview what you're going to present. And on top of that, now you can place a background to hide your background in a video call or FaceTime call. So this is not like having green screen. So when you actually activate this, there will be two layers, one completely separate for you and one behind you which will be the actual background so that you don't overlap like the green screen does with certain lightings. But I think this is just the feature that we got in macOS Sonoma, like the presenting that there were like, there were a lot of different kind of ways to present yourself in a bubble or being in front of the content to be able to point out the thing directly which you wanted to show or highlight in a presentation. But this is a better technology with macOS Sequoia. By the way, you can also place custom photos in it. And with gaming, if you remember, we got game mode in last year's macOS Sonoma. And in addition to this, there are a lot of nice games coming to Mac this year. Like Assassin's Creed Shadows, Lost Punk 2, Resident Evil 7, Biohazard, Prince of Persia, Lost Crown, and more. So this is really good to see that games like these are being made for Mac. But I really can't take it seriously enough cause to run these games on a Mac with decent graphics and at least 60 FPS, it's gonna cost you like 4 or 5 PS5s. So I don't really see the worth but again, it's good to have options. The last feature exclusive to Mac is continuity. So don't be mistaken by just iPhone mirroring. This is very different. I mean, it is the same but different. You can actually screen mirror your iPhone to Mac while using your Mac like you normally do. And there's more to it. So now your iPhone is literally on your Mac screen. So it lets just drag and drop files from iPhone to Mac or vice versa. But this feature comes later this year. The normal continuity is available in the Mac OS Sequoia Beta 2. But drag and drop, we're gonna have to wait. And not just this, even your iPhone notifications appear on the Mac like it does for the Mac itself. So you might be wondering like what could be the iPhone situation while this thing is on. Basically your iPhone will be locked when continuity is on because the screen is being shared on the Mac screen and you can do literally about anything except using the cameras which is currently not available. We might see this in future like using your Mac's front camera to take selfies using your iPhone, using continuity on Mac screen. But like there are various possibilities, unlimited possibilities, but we never know what kind of feature we might get, how continuity will evolve with the new updates next year or with the coming generations. So these few features are exclusive to Mac in the latest beta update or the latest update. But then we do have Apple intelligence. Well, there isn't really any feature which is exclusive to Mac but the improved Siri writing tool with chat GPT 4.0 integration, image creation, Genmoji, it is also available on iPhone 15 Pro and later with iOS 18 and any iPad with Apple Silicon with iPad OS 18. So there isn't really anything exclusive to Mac in Apple intelligence but then again I could be wrong so please correct me if I'm wrong by commenting if there is any feature which is exclusive to Mac with Apple Intelligence. So literally rest of the features like in Safari, Maps, iMessage, Notes, Airports is also available on iOS and iPadOS 18. So I've already uploaded the video for that. 
you can go check it out for the rest of the common feature. I think iOS 18 and iPadOS 18 has exclusively received features like customizations and especially with Apple Pencil. And such things are definitely not on Mac. I don't know, this update isn't really looking that big. So Mac OS Sequoia isn't really looking that big with exclusive features and changes. But there are some helpful features for sure which are convenient to have. Well, should you install? No, this is not that great to sacrifice basic functionality and face random bugs. You wanna try continuity? Maybe grab a friend's Mac if he has got it, but don't get into it just yet. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Peace.